Welcome back, everybody. We're going to continue where we left off before. We just put some video into our timeline, and we learned how to move it around. We learned how to uh, to blade it, to select it, to delete it. Uh, and so I think the next step for us is to learn how to uh, manipulate the size of the image um, and the composition of, of the image. And so uh, that's, that's where we're going to move on to next. I know me as an editor, that's kind of the next step that I go to, and so I feel like that's a good place for everyone else. We're going to learn how to transform the image, crop the image, trim the image, and Ken Burns the image, which is a really cool function. Uh, it's really also great for uh, still photos when you're trying to make a slideshow. These are just some basic things that you can do to change the composition of your image a little bit. And they're really simple to do. Uh, let's just start with it. I've got a video here that is my daughter telling me how she's going to be somebody one day or something like that. I can't remember. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you've selected that clip uh, and then put your playhead somewhere in there. And for what we're doing now, it could just be anywhere in there just so that I can see the image and work with it. Uh, the other thing that I like to do when I work with this is I like to get rid of the browser over here so that I have more room to see my video. And so to get rid of that, you go up here and you click this. And I think this is called um, show or hide browser. So simple enough, I can bring it back later. Not a big deal, but it's out of the way now and it gives me a little image to work with. Um, to use this tool, uh, the first thing I want to look at is uh, this drop down menu right here, and this is where those tools are, are nested. And so I'm going to go down to crop because that's the most common thing that people do. They're going to crop the image to get something put to where they want it or just to get a piece of the image or something that's ugly uh, out of the way. Uh, I, feel, I feel like that uh, over here in the right, this Ford truck's a little distracting. I really kind of want to center her up, and so I'm going to uh, click this crop button here. And then when that comes up, I'm going to click the crop button again. It's a little confusing the way FCPX laid this out, I think. I really wish they were just all separate buttons, but they're not. And so within, uh, within crop, you'll click crop again. And what you need to do here is I have this set now where it's just fit. Uh, I'm going to drop this down a little bit. Let's say you know, 50 minute bigger. Sorry. Let's try 25. Okay. And then now you can see these little corner blue pieces here. And you just need to grab any one of them that you want. I'll just grab this one and uh, kind of get it where I want it. And uh, once you get it, you can actually move it around uh, anywhere you want to. And the part that's lighter, the brighter part, is the part that you're going to keep. The part that you're not going to uh, that you're getting rid of is the darker part. So uh, I'm going to put it kind of right here. This looks pretty good. Now, if you go outside of this, you're going to have this black edge here, and you don't want that, so you got to stay within within your frame here. So I'm going to go kind of at right here. It looks pretty good to me. That seems center-ish. A little headroom. I'm going to drop this back down a little bit more. And then I'm going to click Done. So now I went from that. Uh, I went to that from this. So you see there? I'm turning it off. I'm in the inspector here, and I can turn transforms and crops and things like that off and I'm turning this off and you can see that to there and so uh, a little less distracting with the giant forward over here and so uh, when she's talking you'll pay more attention to her she's centered up uh, for a vlog that's absolutely acceptable you know you're not having to use a rule of thirds or anything on here so uh, just kind of centering her up and she leans in and it cuts a little part of her head but that's fine it's not a big deal uh, I'm expanding my horizons I like doing things that can help me in the future like have money like have money <laughs> so uh, anyway so that's just a basic crop uh, very simple to do. Uh, the next kind of cool thing that you may need, uh, but not often. I don't. I don't use this very often unless I'm doing some kind of news-looking type. There, there is a, a trim tool, uh, and so I'm going to go to the trim tool. And what happened there is, and, and where normally that was a crop, I've gone to trim. And now if I click done, the image is going to leave all that black part. And it's just not often that you need that part. Okay, um, the crop usually takes care of it, but if there was some reason you needed that, then it's there and it's simple to use. Um, but that's just not something I use very often, so it's not something I recommend. So the crop. Uh, now, Ken Burns, on the other hand, really cool to have. Uh, Ken Burns is where you take an image that's basically still, 
and you give it movement. And there's a lot of ways to use a Ken Burns. Uh, the most simple way is just simply have a start point where it's wider and you can kind of move in and, and position it where I want it. So maybe I can go from this weird wide shot and slowly have it zoom in. And so what happens is from the beginning of the image to the end of the image, it'll move from one part to another. Let me click done and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to play this. Higher. Expanding my horizons. I like doing things that can help me in the future. Like have money. Like have money. Okay. <laughs> and that's a very subtle difference, but uh, it, it could be much more uh, out there. Let's look at this image here. Say that I did a Ken Burns here. Go to crop, and then go over to Ken Burns. And I wanted to really, in this short image, I kind of wanted to go right in on my face. Okay, so I'm going to try that. Let's see how that looks. So it's just kind of a zoom in. You know, that's that's one way to use the the Ken Burns. Uh, another way that you could use the Ken Burns. Well, of course, by the way, you can also flip those where you start with where you start inside and then move outside. Uh, so let's say that you know I started close. I wanted to pull it back a little bit. I started really close, maybe just uh, just uh, on my eyes, and then I moved moved out uh, kind of quickly. Uh, all you have to do is click this button here in the corner, and it flips them. So I will start here and end here. Uh, let me show you that. I was only going to eat the half of it. I'm going to eat like the bite I just took, and I'm going to call it a day. Okay, so that's that's pretty much uh, that. Now another way that I like to use it uh, as well. Maybe I've shot a scene like this one where it's just me going down the road, and that's fine. Uh, but maybe I've decided that I want to make this more of a pan shot. Maybe I want to pan. And so you can do an artificial pan, just even if it's subtle, kind of do your end and then do your uh, start and just put them side by side. Make them the exact same size. Okay. If I want to pan left, I'll start on the right side and then I'll um, pan to the left side and click done. And now I can watch this and it's slowly panning as going down the road okay that's a pretty handy tool that, that could that could really do some neat things especially uh, can be used a lot with time lapses and things like that where you're getting something beautiful and you just do kind of an artificial pan and if you're you know, say you're doing 4k and you're exporting as a 1080 then it, you know you're never going to notice a quality difference there anytime you crop you're taking some of the image away and it can pixelate if you're not careful but this is a good way to to do it and not worry about that all right, so there's a couple of ideas, you know, uh, as well that could that could just as easily be a, a tilt. Uh, maybe I'm going to tilt up, put those right on top of each other. And they're well, they're slightly off, but they're pretty close to the same size. Done, and then so now uh, as I'm going in the road, it's it's slowly, you know, tilting, tilting higher. Uh, again, that's a that's a subtle difference. You could make that very very pronounced difference if you wanted to really crank in. This is probably going to distort some, but for the sake of the video, I'll do it. Um, and then kind of make that the same size and then I'm just gonna do a, a mean tilt here and so get ready for this I don't know what this is gonna look like so it's going straight up anyway don't know why you would want that but if you ever did it's there alright so the other thing that I wanted to look at is the transform and so this could be handy, especially for you gamers out there that want to make gaming videos. This could be kind of cool. So we go to the transform. Again, I want to select what I'm going to do. I want to select the thing. I want to, I want to click this button and go down to transform. This allows me to grab this and make it small. And you've seen those pictures and pictures in the news. Uh, you could also flip it the other direction here if you wanted. Just be careful not to distort it. Um, hit Command Z to bring that back tilt it like the transform really does a lot of things and I can I can have some interesting things happen here this is also where you learn to kind of animate images which I'm not going over today but I will if you don't like it just reset it okay so let's say that I was going down the road here um, and maybe I want to have a conversation while I'm doing that and I want to be able to see both well I can take this transform it and uh, done and then I can grab this image and set it over the top of this one uh, right there. Well, you know, it's not pretty right there, but I could transform it and then just grab it and move it to the side. So it looks like I'm driving down the road. All right, so today's moving day. And I'm Destiny's Austin. driving while I'm doing that, which I, I would never do that. I just want to point that out. 
uh, as you progress and learn more as you follow these videos they might come into play later on uh, and it's good to know that they're right here as did very well all right let's check out the next video